three ships back. Cargo right. and all. I yes, I am a man of my word now. Finally. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this uh, next part started. I totally forgot what I was gonna have, what I had to do. But the main what point is that we're here. What happens now? We wait for the signal. <laughs> what signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I have an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Man, Connor is like ready to start beef with anyone, bro. He's just like, let me, show me who, show me who, bro. Alright, it feels good to actually be playing this, dude. Damn it, December more guards. 16th. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Stay the world, Connor, and I will make it so. Alright. Assassinate. Uh, alright, alright, alright. I like how it's like, okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm trying to be all sneaky sneak and like Connor's like freaking showing his whole body, okay. Wait a minute. Let me go on top. God, I'm so slow when it comes to this these parts. Alright, I guess. Bro, can you like can you oh, I hate you so much. I forgot like what what this game has in store for me every time I play it, dude. I have like so much for the the campaign is like really really good. Okay. Will he be good? Alright. We need to kill faster. I don't want to be like detected or wait. No, it just says eliminate the guards. It doesn't say to be sneaky sneak. All right. You know what? Nah. Let's let's actually take out our gun. Where's our gun? Where's our gun? All right. There you go. All right. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I just gotta kill these people and then pretty much that's it. So the butcher guy is our assassin, pretty much. Modern day assassin. We don't train them no more. We just like, we just tell them like, hey, you gotta kill people. Yeah. <laughs> that French dude doesn't care, bro. Get it, don't take no shit. Ow. You know what? Oh, no, no, that's fine. Cause I have like the shotgun so, for the whistle box. The Flamehawk Pistol or whatever there it's called. It has like a fancy name, but it's like old school. Honestly. Let's break this guy's ankles. Oh yeah? That's what we get. Easy. Ow, oh, you canceled my reload, bro. Oh hell yeah. Nope. That was easy. First try. For some reason, I I feel like I've done this. I might have. I feel like I probably actually have done this already, but because those two gaming files that I did previously were corrupted, so I'm pretty sure I did this like six months ago. But then again, I just like I never.
Good to know. Jump off the team. Regulars! Regulars. Regulators. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea is being dumped. Let me help you. I'm yours to command. He's like, all right. Wait, uh, dump crates into the water. Crates there. Come on, pick them up, pick them up, pick them up. Great, okay. Save the last one for you. We get out of here. Face, dog. Yo, Connor looks all jacked now. It's funny because, like, obviously, since this game is pretty old, I mean, obviously, the graphics aren't that great and whatnot. The people in the background is just like, it's funny to hear them because it's just like, literally, just noise. It's no cheering. It's just, alright, where do I gotta go? I gotta go pretty far, so that's why I wanted to check, okay. So we're actually making progress. I feel like I've done this already, low-key. But then again, as like since I basically had to catch up, etc. and all of that, I... You know, it was it was good that I actually... Uh, hold on. Okay, it, it's good that I'm actually now able to record, because, like, jeez, I've, I've been wanting to play this for so long, but... You don't worry, sorry. I need to, okay, I need to run a little bit, and then, you know what, I'll just do it myself, come on, I don't need my horse. Uh, what's his name, Achilles, I'm home, bro. Am I supposed to be here? Wait. Oh, I'm not even supposed to be in here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not even supposed to be here, okay, let's go outside. My bad, my bad. I'm supposed to go behind this like this little fort right here. It's kind of quiet. I hope Achilles is not doing anything where he dies or anything like that. Hey Achilles! I hope they give him a backstory. We're able to know a little bit more about him. Because his, because in reality the suit we have is Connor's. So I, I hope we get to see. A it is done. More. Johnson is dead. No. He retreated when we destroyed the tea. Only to hatch some new scheme, I'm sure. You should have killed him. There was no need. Time will tell if you speak the truth. Six months later. 
Redun hagedum. Ganon Dokon, why are you here? Has something happened? William Johnson has returned with all the money required to buy our land. He meets with the elders as we speak. I have begged him to resist, but I fear he shall have his way unless you intervene. How is this possible? We destroyed the tea. The Templars are nothing if not resourceful. You should have heeded my warning. Please, you have to stop him. Of course. Can you tell me where they're meeting? Yep, and just like that, they came back. They're like, all right, you burned our money? We'll go get some more. No worries. And basically, pretty much, I mean, you have to really think about it. Like, I mean, they basically had to go back and forth from England. Imagine if that in ships, bro. I think that takes like, I don't know how long that takes, but they, it takes a while, bro. In ship? And besides, like, how they were back then? Oh, my God. Don't even get me started. All right. Thank you for calling my horse, but I think I can actually... Oh my god, this horse. I think I can actually fast travel, right? Uh, there's no need. Okay. Uh, the thing is... We actually have to go all the way around. Oh, wait. What is over here? Where do we gotta go? Yeah, we gotta go around. Oh god, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm supposed to go all the way over there. Okay, I don't know how I... Horsey, what are you doing, dog? Oh my god, this horse is like, nah, you're gonna ride me, pause, and you're gonna like it. Alright, let's go, let's go back then. Right. Sorry, horse, sorry. Right, let's go all the way back, because I, I kind of had a feeling, but it was like... I don't know, I guess because since this game is... I always say it's really old, it's really not, but I mean, I know some games are worse. But it's just like... The mechanics on this game, it makes you confused. It really does, so. Okay, uh, I think I can drop her around. You know what? Let's go a little bit more. Let's go right here. Yeah, I'm able to drop here. I don't know why I didn't do this. Okay. I had a warrior moment. Right. Come on, horsey. There you go. What's his name? Brett. Rat, rat, uh, no, I know Raton and Gedum, and then what the hell is he not going to do? Rad is going to do the Johnson's you got the rocks top. Guahigan's he what Neganun hard at Nagedum. The Guadel hard at Guacanto. I feel like that's how they speak. So not halal. What do you mean we left the perks in Kabul? Alright, come on, man. I gotta go all the way over there. All right. Let's go ahead and start some war. I'm down. A horsey. Fucker. Fucker. Okay, 
okay, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. How am I supposed to get up there, though? Okay. Ah, I see. I'm supposed to go down. Alright. Sorry, horse. I actually gotta fly solo on this one. Hey. Good luck. Sorry. So it's just me, myself, and I in the woods. Alright. I feel like there was a proper way of going down and me just being stupid, like, because I see this branch, right? I'm sure there is a way actually pointing, like, hey, you gotta take the trees to get all the way here, but nope, I didn't do that. Alright, Coco! Alrighty. about this game it's like you're, you're actually trying to be stealthy but it doesn't doesn't let you oh my god it for real did not let me dude I was like hiding and pull I was literally there just trying to hide and nope didn't let me all right all right, all right. I feel like I'm making more of a big deal than this already is all right, uh, can I go this way very much. I can go that way. Okay. This way. Okay, feather. I like that feather. I feel like next time I should try to just climb the mountain and then, then you know, take things from there. All right, let's see what uh what we have, dude. I have played this before. Dude, what am I doing? I'm telling you, dude, this game is absolutely retarded, dude. Absolutely retarded. Look, and now it wants me to be all stealthy. I have How? no idea what, what this signing wants me to do. Over to you, then we'll be at one in your debt forever. Sir William may have a point. What hope have we against their black powder and iron? The spirits will guide us, as they always have. Did they not Woo! guide us here? Yes. That we might unmask the great betrayer. This is a mistake. We should sign. Alright. Very cool, very cool. Peace, peace. Have I not always been an advocate? Have I not always sought to protect you from harm? If you wish to protect us, then give us arms, muskets and horses that we might defend ourselves. War is not the answer. We remember, Stanwicks. We remember you moved the borders. Even today, your men dig up the land, showing no regard for those who live upon it. Your words are honeyed, but false. We are not here to negotiate, nor to sell. We are here to tell you and yours to leave these lands. So be it. I offered you an olive branch, and you knocked it from my hand. Perhaps you'll respond better to the sword. Are you threatening us? Yes. Alright, hold on, hold on, Here's what I'm going to go ahead and do. Send one of your own to oppose me. Bitch ass nigga. No. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to say that. Come on, you gotta assassinate him, bro. You gotta assassinate him, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. There you go. There you go. Oh my god, I did so bad. I should have gotten a musket. Oh no. What have you done? Ensured an end to your schemes. You sought to claim these lands for the Templars. Aye. 
that we might protect them. Do you think that good King George lies awake at night, hoping that no harm comes to his native subjects? Are that the people of the city care one whit about them? Oh, sure. The colonists are happy to trade when they need food or shelter or a bit of extra padding for their armies. But when the walls of the city constrict, when there's crops that need soil, when there's... when there's no more enemy to fight, we'll see how kind the people are then. The colonists have no quarrel with the Iroquois. Not yet. But they will. This is the way of the world. In time, they'll turn. I... I could have stopped it. I could have saved you all. You speak of salvation, but you were killing them. Aye, because they would not listen. And so, it seems, neither will you. I was not sure that I was going to be Alright, that was easy. I guess we could just leave now. Because <laughs> we caused a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, we would leave. Okay, leave, leave, leave. Okay, cool. That was actually <sighs> too easy, bro. Too easy. Brush off this dust, bro. Oh my god. Yeah, that was pretty bad. A hundred out of two hundred. Oh my god. Memory sequenced complete. Yeah, I actually did this. I actually, I remember doing this. I think I live streamed it and somehow I lost William this Johnson file because I never uploaded this. And with him, the Templar plot to steal the land of my people. But in ending this threat, I have revealed another. True. On his body was a letter addressed to John Pitcairn containing orders to root out and destroy Patriot weapons and supplies. Should he succeed in this, the colonists will be unable to maintain their resistance and the Templars will surely take control. So long as Pitcairn lives, the danger remains. I need to find him. He needs to die. Very well. We're getting close to 1776, so we'll see how it unfolds in this game. I thought it might bring clarity or instill a sense of accomplishment, but all I feel is regret. Hold fast to that. Such sacrifices must never come lightly. I had to do it. Not only for my people, but for all the others Johnson would have harmed. It's a start. But to truly be free of Templar influence, all of them must be dealt with in turn. Even your father... I know. You speak the words, but do you believe them? Seems we've company. All right, go check out who's at the door. Did we ever take off that ax off of the pole? What is it? A request for aid from Paul Revere. Seems the Redcoats are Dude, up to something in Boston. I actually played this Guess before. Guess you made an impression on the <laughs> I don't know when or where, but I have. They mistake me for one of their own. Please tell Mr. Revere he has my sympathies, but I cannot help at present. You might wish to reconsider. John Pitcairn is mentioned by name. Where am I to go? Mr. Revere's house in Boston. If you'd like, I can... He's like, all right, no, I found it myself. All right, let's fast travel. Yes, sir, let's go back to Boston. All right, I gotta go to Boston, bro. My, one of my uh, grandfathers lives up there, and I, I should really visit him before, you know, he kicks the bucket, so. It's like, I don't know, it's difficult because he lives all the way over there, though, and I, I don't know his phone number. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Let's go back. This is actually really cool, though. I've always, I've always loved the east side. And it's, I don't know, it's just something about it. It's just, it's just nice. It's just, it's colder. I've always left, like, more, like, towards the west. So it's just, 
I'm so glad I moved out of Los Angeles because when I actually started this channel, I was still living in Los Angeles. And man, like occasionally you could hear that like where I used to live, it was hella noisy, bro. It was super noisy. I'm pretty sure in one of my videos, like back in 2016, I was probably boasting like, hey, like I just moved to a new house. Like it's all quiet here. I can record. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just like, it, it's crazy how things change. But like I used to live in LA LA could be fun, but in reality, it's not worth it. It's not worth it, bro. Like, LA is just like, it smells like piss. There's so many hobos everywhere, which, like, you know, obviously there are people who are more unfortunate, right? To, you know, they don't have as many things as one, uh, like another person does, you know? But a lot of the homeless people are drug addicts, dude. Like, I was, like I'm not saying, like, it's everyone, right? Oh, man. Connor's, like, working this, this hill. <laughs> All right, but anyway, what I was just saying, pretty much what I want to say is that I'm glad I moved out of Los Angeles because I live in Arizona now. Yeah, it's hot. Like right now, it's like today. I think it reached like what? Today was 111, and yeah, that that's hot. And um, obviously, it's a dry heat, but like nonetheless, it's like the living is so much better. You could actually afford, you know, hey, you know what? I want to go eat, <laughs> which I, I don't really go out. I'd rather make myself something at home, right? But that's just me. That's just me. All right, where do I gotta? Where do I gotta go? I think I can do it one more time. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, I can actually teleport one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and get this uh that uh, vantage point or the viewpoint right now. Uh, but yeah, that's like my story, and I feel like I I don't know. This time that I came back and to record, I have a really good feeling. I I don't know why, but I just have a really good feeling that. Am I incognito? I am. Very good, very good. Uh, I have like a very good feeling that now I'm gonna be able to like kind of like get more popular on YouTube. I have no idea why, but I just I just have a good feeling. I have a feeling. Uh, let's go ahead and find this, and then we'll go ahead and yeah. And then by the way, like I know I'm for right now. It's just like it's all been like Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed. But I do want to finish like the Lego Star Wars, and then like I wanna I actually want to play. I don't have a PS5 yet. Damn, it's hard to find one, you know? But, um, I think I'm just gonna play, like, the new, um, Horizon game. Like, the, not the Forza Horizon, but the other one, you know? Horizon Zero Dawn. The, the Wild West, or whatever it's called. Alright, the British are coming, the British are coming. Ah, Connor! What a relief! You came! <laughs> Allow me to... <laughs> yeah, to introduce me. you to William Dawes and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies you must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by yourself. But fear not, for you will not have to. We have an entire army of our own, merely awaiting the order to take up arms. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I. Cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, our enemy comes by sea. No time for dawdling, my friend. We have lives to save. Come on. All right, I guess. We yelled, the British are coming, the British are coming. And you know what? It was kind of interesting because I, I have no idea if I actually left it. Like, because as I'm, like, talking to you guys right now, literally my other video is, is uploading. I have 12 minutes on it, and that's, like, how I'm doing it. So, like, I was just like, you know what? While I wait for this, why don't I record another video? And I'm, like, basically typing it. Like, I'm cl I kid you not. Look. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I'm, like, typing in, like, the title. 
They've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah. You like take the reins, got... I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse. You didn't even freaking park the boat, bro. I know Connor's pissed. <laughs> oh, God. I'll guide you towards those we need to alert. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. All right, I got a vanish point, though, or viewpoint. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Did you hear that? Could be red coats. Careful. Okay, perfect. Come on. Keep running, keep running. You got it, you got it. To the I right, Connor, to the right! To the right? All right. Let's get off. Let's see if it's this way. We will never finish in time if we go by foot. Not this one? You know what? Let, let's let's try this house though. This is it. You there have you go. got the right place. See, you the indicators dismount are so bad. And quicker he said, and quiet. We'll never finish in time if we go by foot. So that makes you think, like, hey, maybe I'm in the wrong place. But no, yeah, you are. Spread the word. Just talk to? The regulars are coming out. At once. At once. <laughs> Now to the next one. All right. I have notoriety, so I'm not. I'm not gonna risk myself. Oh, you know what? What's the big deal? Just go. There you go. <laughs> we should dismount. Very right, cool. Be quicker and quieter. Dismantle? Nah. You're tripping, bro. Find the last militia house. It's this one. This is it. You have got the right place. I knew it. There you go. The regulars are coming. Here. We're here. Oh, Get shit. Them. Are we on the horse? We need to lose them. Oh, okay. Go this way. Go this way. Go inside the freaking field. Find a way to get rid of them, Connor. You're actually fucking retarded. Bro. Get on the freaking horse! <laughs> I'm not dealing with that shit, bro. Oh my god. Oh my god. Like, do you, do you see how stupid this is? It's like, sometimes when I'm actually running by foot, them. they can't even catch me. Like, they can't catch me. But somehow I'm in a horse and they get me. Look, We've there you shake go. Shake those red coats. Th that's what it wanted me to do. It wanted me to take the entrance. All right. Faster! We need to get away from them. Thank God. Go 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 go. That was much too close for comfort. Let us take yeah. care to avoid any further surprises. Keep going! Approach the house is on foot. My foot. This is it! You have got the right place! Of course it's the right place. Where the devil is he? Are you sure we are in the right place? Oh, sure, I'm sure. Prescott? Evening, gents. Listen, the regulars are out. You need to rally your men. And, uh, put on some trousers. At once! Wait. Was this man gay? I just realized that. The, the other dude walked out naked. Was that a dude or a girl? I don't even know idea. I'm so disappointed. Alright. Reach. Okay. Alright, whatever. I feel like by me saying what I just said, I feel like that's gonna bite me in the ass in the future. I hope no one takes that to offense, dog. <laughs> oh, God. 
Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Finally. Now let's find God. Hancock and Adams. Pause, Cock. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. I hope he's all right. Well, we'll find out right now. Oh well, look, this is the house that we were at. With uh, with hate them. All right. Nice do, bro. Paul, Connor. Good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor, it's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. It's morning now. Where do we gotta go now? Oh, not the farm. Okay. So I have been playing for a whole hour. But I do want to see what comes up next. I think we actually do, like, actually the Civil War thing. Yep. There you go. Dude, I've played this. Why have I played this, bro? Like, I don't know why. Like, I I don't know when I played this. I, I know I've played this before. But somehow I don't have this file where I actually, like, played this. Somehow. I don't know. Stand your ground, men! <coughs> don't fire! Unless fired upon! But if they mean to have a war... Let it begin here! <coughs> Take care. Okay. Disperse, you damn rebels. Lay down your arms and disperse. What the deuce are you doing? Hold your position! Cravens! Traitors! They are not coming back. You will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me or not. Return fire! Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. Show this to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. Go on now! Will these guys be okay? It looks like they can't aim. And that guy is freaking dying of pneumonia. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Horsey! Let's go, horsey! <laughs> Move it, people. Alright. Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. And why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. I'm enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> you ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts. We'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. There. And he Good just, boys. Like... Moves his hand. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. All right. The guy 
that guy was a dick, but hey, I mean, we're on the same side, so I ain't complaining. Sir! Man the barricades! No! Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late and the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. All right, we'll do. Wait for my signal. All right. Yeah, I remember, I remember this, because obviously, this is why the British lost, bro. Check this out, check this out. This is why the British lost, all right? You want to see this? Look. Open fire. Boom. <laughs> they form a line and then they freaking die. Wait for my bro. signal. Where are they? Shoot. Look, there you go. That's it. I, I almost had complications there. Wait for there. my signal. Wait for the signal. I can't, I can't see. Fire now. All right, look. This is look. This is Hold exactly. Hold fire. Fun. Go. Wait for my signal. Fire now. Okay, very cool, very cool. Hold fire! I'm like zigzagging across, bro. Wait for my sick fire! Wait for my signal. Shoot! My god, okay. Oh, that was it? Okay, very good. Fall back! Fall back! We did it! They're turning tail! Imagine how impressive that, like, imagine you were in that war and you actually, like, lived through every part of it and survived. That must have been dope. Where's my horse? Where's my horse? Come on, bro. This game, I, I tell you, like, the, the, the gauchos on this game, bro. Come on. Let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Yeah. Talk to James Barry. Takes a true monster to do something like this. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. And what of them? We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. Hmm. It never is. I feel like that guy's like a know-it-all, low-key. Mm. Okay, so I failed one part. Okay, that, I don't care. I don't, I don't care about the full synchronization. I could always go back. I literally, there's like, I, I hardly doubt there's like, there. I mean, there's always that one person that tries to do everything first take. But for the support of the glorious cause, George Washington, I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, that's not George unfavorable Washington. to my reputation, that's, uh, what's his name? I beg it may be remembered oh, by fuck. every gentleman in the room Shit. that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity, I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is pay, no man better sir, suited to the task. To assure really? The Congress that I can no think of several. Oh, shit. Could have Charles me Lee. To have accepted this arduous employment. 
Do I know you? I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> Come, Connor. There's someone I want you promise. to meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. Sorry to pull you away Those like that, I doubt but not, they will the last discharge, thing we need and is that is the all I you desire. Coming to blows. That's not George Connor, Washington. That's me like to introduce uh, you to what's our That's not George Washington. That's Robin Chief, Williams, bro. George Washington. Ah. So you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> as humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. And lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you head to Boston, Connor. Alright, back to Boston it is. Dude, check out this house. Yo, 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 we moving up in the world. We're in Philadelphia now. We in Georgia. Is Philadelphia in Georgia? I have no idea. I'm stupid, all right? I'll admit, if I got that wrong, then... <laughs> the fact that I don't even know. I was in a cracker racist joke, but I'd rather not. All right. Uh, wow, fancy people. Man. Look at these high-class men. I know for sure these guys are packing. What? I mean, what? What, 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 what? what am I saying? All right, let's go ahead and get out of here. Ooh, wait, horse. Hold and stick. What? Chill, chill. Oh, start mission. Okay. I'm so looking for Israel Putnam. On whose orders? Samuel Adams. Follow me. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it a day there. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, I've been playing for a whole hour. It's crazy because I, I, I you know you would assume that like you know what I haven't really gotten that far I want to you know get to something good and then call it a day. No, it's it's uh, it's been an hour. So uh, Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave it off. It's not Bunker Hill. Hi, it's Breeze There's been some Disagreement as to where we should encamp any news from Boston the Tories aren't moving and anytime we try to press them We lose a dozen men I think Putnam and the others plan to assemble artillery on these hills. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah, that's it for me. Bye-bye. Thank you. Subscribe. Bye.